Howdy folks, Richard Avery, Titanium Computing. And I've kind of gotten a lot of responses, and I thank you for coming here and watching, but a lot of responses on IT certifications and getting into the cybersecurity industry and a whole bunch of things around that. So I wanna continue that a little bit and talk about things that you might not know. Uh, a lot of people are commenting about how uh, the information that I provide in some of these videos are, is brand new and they've never seen it or heard it and they've watched hundreds and hundreds of videos. Um, so let's talk about college versus IT certifications. As a rule of thumb, you need to understand how recruiters recruit, how people are interviewing and how people are selecting your resume for a job. You need to understand, get it in your head, that you are filtering or being filtered out. That a degree is a filter and that filter is applied to you. So somebody opens a job rec up and they want a cybersecurity SOC specialist and they want four years of experience. Well, the four years is the filter that they're trying to apply to this job listing. The bachelor's degree may be a filter. The Security Plus certification, the CISA certification, the CISA, CISM, CISPA, whatever certification you want to apply, those are just filters because they're getting a thousand job applications. So they need to sort through a thousand job applications. And you as a job seeker are certainly frustrated because you're not getting a callback. You're not getting through the filters to be taken to the next level to where the situation is taken seriously. And I had a, a hiring manager at Lockheed that I was talking to while I worked at Lockheed. And they said that they just took the the top half. I mean, this is still paper. That's a lot less. Some people still print them all out. So they'll print all those PDFs out or Word documents out that you're sending um, so that they can do this. They literally have a stack of, of resumes and they just take the first, the top half and just throw it in the trash. I know that sounds ridiculous, but an HR manager having a thousand job applications for one job? time it takes for them to go through all of that is ridiculous. So this is why people say you need to put it into the portal. You need to do this. You need to do that because they're trying to filter through a thousand job apps to decide and select the criteria of that person. Now, college versus IT certifications, a college degree stereotypically is just being used as a metric until you get to higher sciences or higher arts. Can you dedicate yourself to a job or a task or a goal for four years? That's it. That's it. You have a bachelor's degree? Great. I don't even care what the bachelor's degree is in. Can you apply yourself? Can you wake up at nine o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning? I don't care. Can you continue to dedicate yourself to somebody else's schedule? That's what the, the job provider wants. Right? Can you dictate your life to someone else's schedule consistently and hit the goals and target metrics that they have set forth, KPIs, for four years? That's it. Now, of course, once you get into a master's degree programs for chemistry or master's degree programs for aerospace engineering, or you're doing, you of course have to typically have degrees in those things. You can't become a doctor without a doctorate. You can't become someone who's uh, doing brain surgery without a brain surgery uh, doctorate and usually uh, an attending certification on top of that. This is, this is for the starter stuff. And you also need to understand that a managerial position is usually going to have that filter applied no matter what. If you are getting IT certifications and going into a career with IT certifications, you got your Net Plus, you got your Security Plus. If you already have the certifications, you're going to get stopped at a point and they're going to say, hey, 
you got to have a bachelor's degree to move into management. That's what it was like at all three. You could have all of the programming knowledge and experiences you wanted. You could have the certifications that were required. You could not be a team lead without a college degree. That, that, by, that information, by the way, is nine years old. So, of course, you know, things change and metrics change. And so that advice could be very dated. But that is still the concept in lots and lots of other industries and lots and lots of other businesses to this day. How do you get a college degree with your IT certifications? Well, you might not know this, but just getting an IT certification walks you towards a college degree. You are already on the path. If you have certifications, a real IT certification from a tier A certification company, Microsoft, CompTIA, AWS, Cisco, those count towards your degree automatically. As a matter of fact, you can get nearly half of your degree before you even go to college because every certification is worth, on average, a class. So if you've got your Network Plus and your Security Plus and your CISA, you're already three certifications in. You That's, that's three out of five classes for a whole semester. And if you don't believe me, Go look at the class workload at WGU. WGU literally, I, I did this in reverse. I got all my certifications and then got my college degrees with my certifications. They now have actual collegiate programs, WGU being the most recognizable of these, where you get your IT certifications as the actual curriculum. Here's your Network Plus book. Go past your Network Plus. Oh, you, you passed your Network Plus. Now you get the credit for the class. College isn't even coming up with the course ma uh, material. They're literally saying, here's a Network Plus book, study, pass it, boom, you pass the class. Um, to the point where uh, you can just, if you walk into certain degrees at WGU, you can, you can effectively class out of almost the entire certification, the entire degree, if you already have all the certifications. Now, again, we're talking like 10 certifications walking into a college degree, but you absolutely can do that. The college you need to understand is gonna offer other courses that make it so that you still need to pay them that aren't certification based because colleges are typically for profit and you need to understand that they need to make profit. So you're gonna go down this process, you're gonna take some certifications, you're gonna pass those certifications and then you're gonna go get a college degree. After, before, it doesn't matter. Getting your college degree at the same time you get your certifications may help you, it may not. Uh, it, it's I've never seen anybody get into that except Fortune 500 companies typically are gonna look more for a college degree than others because they can. Because again, it's about the filter to take all of these applicants and make it so that I don't have a thousand applicants to look at, it's I have 50 applicants to look at. And the more you make sure that you can break through the filter and you're above and beyond that filter, right? If you're required, if the requirements are Net Plus and Security Plus and you only have network Net Plus and Security Plus, and they have a thousand applicants that have Net Plus and Security Plus, they're only going to look for applicants that have more than Net Plus and Security Plus because they're applying a filter to everything that they're doing in their application hiring process for you. And as you move your career forward, you're going to probably want to get a college degree. But like I said, you're already on that path. If you've already passed certifications, you're already on the path to get a college degree and you don't need to get off the certification path to start the collegiate path. They're technically one and the same. This video is not sponsored by WGU, uh, but I'm open to opportunities. Hopefully this helps you settle on what you're doing and realize that if you're taking certifications, you're already on the college path. You're already walking down those roads whether it's for IT, system administration, cybersecurity, any of those certification path-ish college degrees, you're already working on it. Don't lose focus. 
just go grind out some more certifications because those are going to help you no matter what your path is forward. Even if you say, I don't want to, I've, I've got some certifications. I've decided I'm not going to do this path. I'm not going to do IT. I'm not going to do cybersecurity. They still help you go get a degree in something else because they can still be counted as electives for your college path. Thanks a lot. Hopefully this has been educational. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Apparently a lot of people are not subscribed to the channel. I know you may hear this on other YouTubers, but I think 95% of my traffic is coming from non-subscribed watchers. So if you're hearing this now and you haven't abandoned the algorithm yet, please hit subscribe. It'll totally help me. But most importantly, it'll help other people find these videos that may be looking for this information for their own life course. Thanks.